I think it's the initial shock, and I don't want to say embarrassment, but a mm-hmm. lot of people don't want to admit when they've yeah. been duped. You know what I mean? So, you know, they kind of keep trying to prove themselves right, and then all of a sudden, you know, rubber meets the road, and they're like, okay, I am in, in trouble yeah. here, so I need to reach out for help. Let's say something does happen. What are the steps you should take to immediately to correct this? So depending on the method of payment that you're using, if you sent a wire, that's almost a good thing because the FBI, other agencies, Federal Trade Commission, your own bank, we have three days to work with to pull that wire back before it, it's, it's satisfied. So if you recognize you've been a victim in a scheme, you need to contact your local police, you need to contact the local FBI office, file a complaint with the Federal Trade Commission, go on to the FBI's uh, cyber um, complaint system, which is called ic3.gov. And that is a uh, database that pulls in all of this information, collects it, and actually collates it and and connects it uh, to other schemes, perhaps uh, with the same individuals involved. you, you got to start somewhere. The, the hope is you're still able to retrieve that money, uh, and, and you can in some instances, but if you're paying by Bitcoin, it's gone. Right. And, and the worst part about it is you may go on to Facebook or Quorum or Reddit and say, oh, I lost all this money, and, and next thing you know, someone's reaching out to you to say, uh, I'm familiar with that scheme. I can get you your money back. So they're sitting there waiting in these forums, seeing wow. that you're a victim. And then it's going to victimize you again. Victimize you one more time. Wow. And the thing is, as you mentioned, people are embarrassed, right? They don't want to admit it. They don't want to report it. And then they get taken again. Yeah. Sad. Very sad.